Hello Mr. Chef here and in this video I'll be showing you how to make a backup copy of your PS2 or Xbox game. A uh, backup copy is just a normal copy of your game which is playable, the backup is playable, or copy actually, is playable on your modded or swap magic PS2. So you can't play this on a normal PS2, just get this clear, not playable on a normal PS2. You will know that if it's modded, because you probably did it yourself, or been told the PS2 is modded, or you have Swap Magic and you use that. By the way, Swap Magic is not a made makeable, makeable on a normal computer. You will need like a specialized drive, which is well very, very, very difficult to get. So don't ask me how to make Swap Magic, because it's impossible. Or you have to buy it. That is the only disc that is buyable only buyable so just to make a uh, clear no playable on normal ps2s and to actually make this copy of your game you will need a ps2 game obviously the game you want to back up like i've got there or if you want to back up an xbox game it's the same routine you just get an xbox game instead of a ps2 game so these are the two well these are one one of the two games i'll be showing you how to back up it is the same procedure. Also, you will need a blank disc to back up onto, which is here. Just need it there. And but it has to be either a DVD minus R or a DVD plus R. It's preferred as a minus R, but it doesn't really matter. So these, this is the equipment you need, and of course you will need a computer, which is there, my laptop, and a drive that can actually burn DVDs. Because you can't really burn a PS2 game onto a CD because the modern ones are written at 4 gig. Also, you, it is not. You will probably need a DVD double layer disc for some of the games. Like I know God of War 2 is one of the games that uses a double layer disc because it's got more memory space onto it because it's a bigger game or better graphics or something like that. But it uses a double layer disc, so it is not make makeable on a DVD. My minus or plus R, so you will need a double A disc for some of the games. But I'll show you how to find out how much memory is on the disc when you get it. So let's get down to some screen recording and showing you how to do it via Nero. So, what you'll need is a Nero Burning ROM program or a Burning ROM program of some sort. I'm going to be using Nero Burning ROM. You can get the trial of Nero in the video description. And well, basically, you do is open it. And when you open it, a big tablet will come up, but you will not need to do anything with the tablet. Just close it. Just close it. Just get the screen up here, so it is similar uh, to my screen. Just get this up. Then what you need to do is place your disc in, which, uh, which I'm going to do right now. You may be able to hear it. Opening my drive. Since it's a laptop drive, it makes a little clicking noise. Then what you do is just place in the disc, close it and wait for it to load because you can't just get burning games when it's not loaded the disk you're actually trying to copy and it'll probably store or something so wait until it loads up and you will know when it loads up when a tablet like this comes up so basically just close this there is an easier well there is a harder way of copying a game and it's by selecting all these and just copying it onto the blank blank disk but you probably need to copy onto your drive and then copy it onto your disk and or if you've got two drives do it like that but it can be a bit on professional and cannot work which I've experienced a few times for people telling me through email but also just basically close this and then go to this copy icon up here wait for a second and this will come up there we go this is the destination you will get it. If you've got only got one drive, do it. I prefer to do it like this because I've only got one drive and it is better. And you will need about 4 to 8 gig on your hard drive space left, depending on how big the game is. And you can find out this by going to disk info. Wait for a second for it to load. And this is how much is on the game. Currently, it's 4.1 gigs. So it is good enough to go into a CD. If it's over 4.6 or 4.7, you 
gigs then you will need a double layer disc because it just won't fit onto a DVD and well don't even try because it just won't work so make sure that's there and if it isn't if it is bigger you need a double layer disc which has a capacity of 8 gig and that's what you need so just close this you don't really need the open close that and well like I said for that amount of space available on your drive preferably a little bit more or a lot more then just go over here everything should be fine just copy the settings if it isn't the same that's good burn and there we go so then all you do is press copy and you'll have to wait for about 10 maybe a little bit faster a uh, few minutes until it finishes and then when it does finish your disk should pop out or say disk is being copied or something then you take out the disk place in your blank disk close the drive and then you st and then you press burn or something like that yeah burn will probably be here and then it'll burn onto your disk and then when the process is finished the amount of space like 4.1 gigs of this disk will be freed from your hard drive and will be placed onto your uh, disk the blank disk and there you've got the exact same copy of the game and it is playable on swap magic and chipped ps2s and not playable on normal ps2s i can't make this clear enough because someone will probably ask can it be why is it not working because you don't have a specialized the specialized equipment on your ps2 to play it so thanks again for watching do check out some of my other videos about ps2 game burning and ps2 modding and so on and do comment so thanks again for watching this has been mr shell stay tuned for more videos